Hey everybody, it's time to go back to the hop. This is going to be my update for the at the hop at the hop project fan. Don't know why I can't get that out. But before I get into that, I'm going to ask you to please do all of the things and you know what they are. All right, so this is a project that was created by Misty, and she did this in collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies Group on Facebook. And I do have to admit that as the president of Misty's Fan Club, I have been slacking like you would not believe I am so far behind in videos. But I'm going to have her channel linked down below as well as the Fantastic Ladies in the description box. And I strongly encourage you to go over there and watch her videos, especially for this project, because she's a delight and she sings. This project that she came up with is all stuff from the 50s and early 60s, and so it's got all these great songs in it and all these classic, iconic things, and you just need to go check her out. Okay, so she started this project on November 25th of 2022. It is going to run till November 25th of 2023. Misty decided to let us kind of do things as we felt like it. So she left it very open-ended. We could start with as many things as we want, and we could set our own goals. We can do anything anything we want as far as bringing things in and out. Because of when this started, I had started a couple projects around the same time slightly before, so I went a little bit light on this. So this time we're gonna be bringing in some good stuff, so you wanna make sure you stick around. Now, we can do our updates monthly or bi-monthly on or around, in my case, the 25th, and you're gonna be looking for the hashtag at the hop project pan. Okay. That's the business side of things. That's what you need to know. She did get help on the last two prompts. I think she has a list of 50, and the last two, Jessica Lee helped her with. So those are credited to her, and I don't know if I have that in my notes, but I do know that is how that worked out. We're going to start with what I had, and this is the screwiest one to start with, but it's the crazy train, so here's what you get. I brought in Splish Splash, so a bath or shower product, and I have this bubblegum bubblegum um, lip scrub from Lush and I've had this for a while I've been using this for a while I did put just oh it so you can see the bottom of the jar you can see I've been working on bringing some stuff up I did drop some oil in this just to um, rehydrate it a little bit and I need to add more so I can't get consistent weights because I have to keep adding oil to it so it's just in here to finish and I don't know if you can can you hear the clunk it's granulated sugar, you guys. It's it's kind of clumpy. But anyway, that's going to be staying in for a little while because um, I'm not done with it yet. So that is the goal. It'll take as long as it takes. We'll add as much as we need to add, and we'll just keep going. Then I had Fats Domino Blueberry Hill. So this is a blue item. For this, I brought in my Mary Kay Buffing Cream. I don't know if you can tell that the words there are blue. And I am down to literally, okay, I had it in a roller, and I am down to, if I squeeze and smoosh, you can maybe even see that it's blue product. I don't know if you can tell. But I might be able to get, oh, half a use. I might be able to get, like, a calf covered. And that's about it for this. I'm not going to, I didn't weigh this when I brought it in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to do that last little smidgen that I can get out of there and throw it in the empties. I'm not going to bother bringing it back. So for the purpose of this, we're going to call it done because, quite frankly, It'll probably be done tomorrow. So that one we're going to just call good. And you'll see it in the June empties, which you will get in July. And I don't know if you can hear the doors in the background. That's my kid. He's coming and going and doing his thing. Okay, then we've got Tutti Fruity, something fruit-themed, package center, etc. Well, I went with the Dragon Fruit Palette. This was from Cleona. It is the Emily Violet Marie collaboration. Holy macaroni. I got to be careful with this because, oh, yep, mine just came apart too. Mine just broke. A little piece of plastic, which we're going to throw in the trash so I don't step on it later. Um, the hinges on this are not made well. So the top has a mirror. These are all of the shades. And as I'm doing this, hopefully I pop some pictures up because I have done this. I did it no pan left behind and I have used every shade now. So this is rolling out and back into my collection. There's some lovely colors in here. Let me get a wipe and I'm going to give you a couple swatches because there's some really good stuff. Okay. Now that, oh, okay. Well, now I've managed to break both sides of it. So I got that going for me. This is obviously not going to travel with me, but, um, 
Okay. I want to give you refresh and infusion and, um, oh, there was one more that I really, really liked. I don't remember which one it was. Hyloceris, I think. Nope, that wasn't it. But anyway, those are all lovely. So we're just going to give you a couple of swatches. And hopefully as I'm doing this, I've managed to keep popping up pictures. But aren't those pretty? So pretty. So that one, you have to baby these. And I was doing really well until I filmed. And then I broke it. Eh. The packaging on this just really wasn't done the best, in my opinion. I think the cover is too weighty, and these little tiny plastic pieces on the hinges are not enough to keep this together. So most people's palettes break. At least the product is still fine in there. So that's going to go back into the collection. Oh, we got to mark that down as done. Got to write these things down. Okay, then we have Sleeping Beauty. So this is a lip product. So I brought in this little Laura Mercier. Um, this is the Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in Fresh. And I will give you a swatch. I have used it, at least. That's, let me see what it looks like. We'll give you a swatch so you can see the color. That's the shade right there. And it's really nice. I really do like it. It's very pretty. So with this, I'm putting this into finish. There's a for me, this is a lot of lip product because I switch my lip stuff all the time and I don't do lipsticks a ton, but I actually made a new mark, you guys. And I also made a lipstick mark on the whole card, but you can see from where I started to where I am now, I at least have used it and we are making some progress. So yay me. All right. Then I had the Banana Boat song, Deo, a product in your morning routine. Well, I brought in one of the Skin Iceland. These are the... Um, Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. This was an open one. I had used one of the eight that came in here. So there were seven when I started. I've used three. I have four remaining in there. They come individually packaged like this. You can see the outline of the eye gels in there. I adore these things. They are absolutely, positively fantastic. And... Um, I kind of baby them a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but I do love them. So this is staying in because there are still some left. Then I brought in the Twist, a product that twists up. For that, I brought in my Bite Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Pastille. And this was pretty much new when I brought it in. I don't know if I had even worn it or if I had just swatched it. And now hopefully you can see the difference, how this is deeper. And this is actually the shade I'm wearing right now. It's pretty much matte, and that's fine. What I do like about this as a pencil, though, is because of the component for it and the shape of the product, then it works really well to get it where I want it without where I can kind of make, I don't need a lip liner. I can kind of make my own lines with it, and so I do enjoy using that. I put it in for five uses. I have used it four days, so we got one more on that. Okay, then... Tears on my pillow. I love all these songs. This is a waterproof, cryproof item. For that, I brought in the Sephora eyeliner. Okay, it does have a little smudger on the end. I thought I lost the plastic. This is the Sephora brand, and it is in glitter green, which is shade number 18. And yes, it does have little glitters in it. You probably can't see that. In, maybe you can see it in the swatch. I don't know if you can or not. Um, but I can definitely see it when I put it on my eyes. I don't know anybody looking at me can see it, but I can see it. So it might maybe be visible. I don't know. I just like it. Brought it in for five uses. I have gotten three. So that's everything that I had in the project. Oh gracious. Halfway upside down. Let's talk about what I'm bringing in because I'm going a little ham here, you guys. And I'm bringing in a lot of stuff, even though I only had two rollouts, I'm bringing in a lot of stuff for, um, because I'm kind of feeling like I'm playing catch up and I want to get to a lot of these prompts. And so let's start with what we're doing. Well, obviously it's what we're doing. That's why you're here to see what I'm doing. Crazy train. All right. So the first one I'm bringing in is for the pompadour. So this is a hair care item. I am bringing in my sexy hair style curling cream. Um, you've seen this in other projects from me. This is one of my absolute favorites in the summer though. It's just all kind of up and you don't see a lot of the curl, but 
I still use it every time I wash my hair. So I'm just going to bring this in for as long as I'm here. If I finish it, I do. If I don't, fine, whatever. This is not brand new. I have used it before, obviously. I mean, it's there's still product on the sides, but there's air in there too. Oh, I would say we're easily over halfway done with this. Um, so it's at 106 grams right now, and we'll just take measurements for the weight on this because I don't have any other way to track it being non-see-through and not sure where all there's air bubbles. So that's the plan. All right, then I'm going to bring in Cinderella. This is a sparkly or glittery product. For that, I decided I was going to grab some of those Nomad singles that I just brought into my collection a couple months ago. This is from the Verona palette. This is Moore's. No, that's not the one I wanted. I lied. We're going to bring that in later. This is the one I'm bringing in. Dingbat. This is from the Nomad palette, Verona. The Nomad Verona palette. Wow, I don't even know what I just said. That was the wrong one. That's coming in later. This one is Romeo, and this is a sparkly. You can see all the sparkles in that. And it's kind of a fuchsia pink. This is a really dry formula, so I don't know. I've never used these, so I don't know how I'm going to like it. But oh, I've got glitter all over my hand. That's what it looks like on my hand swatched out. You can see some of the glitter in the shadow and on my finger, like up close and personal the way I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I am going to be bringing that in four or five uses. Okay, then we've got, oh my goodness, the fur is insane today. I'm sitting in front of the air conditioning vent because it's literally on the floor right behind me, and I think it's blowing things even more at me. All right, we're going to bring in Treasure Island, an item that is a treasure in your collection. So this can be a favorite item, or it can be an item you hoard and don't use. This is kind of both, because it's expensive. I am bringing in the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is the big size. It is 3.5 ounces. It is 100 grams. It is brand spanking new. So we're going to be bringing this in to completion, and this is going to take a while, and I'm fine with that. A lot of the things I'm bringing in this month, a lot of them are going to be longer items, so I'm okay with that. I weighed that out, and it is 234.6 grams right now, so we will be tracking weights, and then you'll be able to see visible progress, too, with that one. So the next one I'm bringing in is Misty. This is the Johnny Mathis song, of course. So in honor of Misty, it's a bold lipper eye. I'm bringing in a Nomad single. This is from the Monteverde Cloud Forest palette. This is one of the singles in Violet Saber Wing. I don't know if you're getting the full purple, if you're getting blue, but holy macaroni is that bold and gorgeous, of course. I mean, that that's a whole lot of... Ah, my lighting doesn't always give me the best coloring here, so... I, that's a bold purple, and I love my purples, but that one's a that one's a really bold one. That's pretty strong. So we're going to bring that in for five uses, too. And then for Aluminum Christmas Tree, this is where I'm, stop it, bringing in that other Nomad single. Okay, so this is also from the Verona palette. So we've got Moors for Aluminum Christmas Tree and then Romeo from for Cinderella from before just to clarify since I was screwing that all up. So that's what that looks like. That's really pretty. And I'm bringing this in for five uses. Hard to see the gold. It looks gray from what I'm seeing in the reflection, but it is very shiny. It is very, very metallic. It is very gold. And that was the thing, something metallic or foiled. So we went metallic. A little worried about gold. There it is. Oh, anyway, five uses on that. Okay, then a 1955 Bel Air. So this is obviously a car one. So a product you consider a classic or the oldest product in your collection. This is embarrassing to admit, you guys. So this is a Mary Kay tube. This is the Gentle Cleansing Cream Formula One. They have not done this line in a hundred years. I don't even know how old this is. This thing is so old. It is so beyond expired. But honestly, I've used a couple of these since I've snagged them from mom when we were cleaning stuff out and came across them because 
This is the one that I always used, and so I grabbed what she had left. This is brand new. This is a four-ounce bottle that is supposed to have 113 grams of product in it. They didn't come sealed. It's just a white cream. And you would think that I wouldn't use this on my face, considering I do have some sensitivity, but I still use these on my face, and I have no problem going through it. Weighing it out on my scale was 129.8 grams. We're going to bring that into completion, so that's going to be around for a few months. All right, sticking with the car theme, we have 1955 Lincoln Continental. So this is a product that's in it for the long haul. For me, that would be a hairspray. This is what I use. I just cheap. I usually just spray this. I don't spray anything else. Um, I use the Suave Max Hull, but it's an 8 on the hairspray. I'm not as bad as Danny, but it does take me a very long time to go through hairspray. Can I see? I can't see exactly where this is, but I know this bottle is less than half full. It's like probably around there somewhere. It is weighing in at 160.4 grams. I'm going to just keep measuring this until I'm ready to leave. So you'll get whatever update you get. September will be the last time I'll be able to give you an update for this one. Um, I buy hairspray like every year and a half, I think. I buy a bottle. <laughs> Two years, something like that. I don't know. It's around forever. So that is an 11 ounce bottle. That sucker lasts me forever and I think it costs about three bucks. What can I say? I'm not a big hairspray person either. All right, then we're going to go with Calendar Girl. And I did not write down, but I think, I think, I think this is a Jessica Lee one. So this is an item nearing or is expired in your collection. Wow, this is embarrassing. And I want to say the song is Neil Sedaka. If I'm wrong, it'll be on the screen, but that's who I remember it by. This, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever been seen these. This is actually part of the starter kit you get when you become a Mary Kay consultant and they give you all of the things to demo for people. This is the toner that I love and you've seen me use the little miniature bottles. So this technically is the high day, high, shh, words, hydrating freshener. This was also part of the, um, formula one line so it was the cleanser the freshener there was an exfoliant which i could never use and then the moisturizer and you've seen me use those on my body although i have used it on my face and that still works too this stuff must have been made to last 100 years or something because it still works fine i don't break out from it i have no issues with it i marked where i'm starting this originally is a 3.8 fluid ounce bottle with 112 milliliters when i weighed it out it's 118.1 grams so this one will be in here and we'll get where we get. I don't know that I will take that with me because I have fresheners there, toners there too. So it'll probably just be whatever I use as long as I'm here. But we got a few months on that. It's not like I don't have other toners too that I've got open and that I'm using because, hey, why not? So these are some long haul products that I am bringing in and a few usage goals. All right, that is everything I have for the product. So... That means it's time to move to the music moment. This one's a little bit different because this isn't something that I would normally do as a music moment, but I'm going to simply because I brought in Misty. So I thought, well, since we're bringing in the song with Misty's name, I'm going to bring in the person for whom I'm named. So I'm bringing in Shelley Fabre. Now, Shelley Fabre is not necessarily known so much for being a singer as she is for being an actress. And I think I've mentioned before, the reason my name is spelled the way it is is because I am named after her. Now, her legal name is Michelle, Michelle Anne Marie Fabre. Let me see if I can get this right. Yes. And my legal name is also Michelle, but it is spelled differently. She has one L, I have two. But as for Shelley, this is where I get the extra E. Now, she did have a, she's had a couple of songs that were actually hits. The one that, if you've ever heard it, you're going to know is the 1962 recording of Johnny Angel. And this actually reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 way back in the day. So I'm at least in the right era too. So uh, to tell you a little bit more about her, she started her acting debut at the age of three. But now where she becomes prominent is around the age of 10. And she's doing TV and film acting. 
as a teenager, the biggest and longest running thing that she was in was in the Donna Reed show. And that's where she played the character of Mary Stone. She was the daughter. She was 14, I think, at that time. Um, and she didn't stay through the whole run, but after she left, she came back and kept making guest appearances. So she was there until the end of the show, even if she wasn't in every episode. And I looked it up and there is only one other show where she has done more episodes. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, now the other thing that you might know her from, and this would be a little bit more recent, and this is the only thing that she has done more episodes of is coach. She was... Christine Sullivan, she was Coach's girlfriend, then wife on that show. And that show is a little bit more recent, but probably still older than most of you would even remember. Anyway, so she was on the Donna Reed show from 1958 to 1965. She did 191 episodes. Now, she did a lot of guest appearances and all kinds of stuff. She is actually the lead against Elvis in the movie Girl Happy from 1965. She did two more movies with him, but I don't think she had the lead role in them. And, uh... When she was on Coach, she did 199 episodes. So the Donna Reed run and the Coach run for TV were very similar. Her filmography is insanely long. She did so many single episodes and guest appearances, things, you know, on like even The Love Boat and things like that. Now, Coach then became like a real solid acting gig, obviously. And she was on that from 1989 to 1997. So very, very close as far as number of episodes, but I think a little more consistent, maybe. I could be wrong about that, too. I don't know. Anyway, what I'm going to link in the description box is, of course, whatever I can find of Johnny Angel, because that is the song that she is known for the most. She ended up doing three albums that I know of, and I could be wrong on this because it's hard to track down some of this stuff. Um... Wow, film, television, where's the part where, her, where she's, okay. So, Johnny Angel came off an album called Shelly with an exclamation point, and then she did another album. She had another couple hits. Only one of the others made top 40. The other one didn't make that top 40 category, but still charted in the top 100. She always said that she couldn't sing. So it wasn't a big surprise that she stuck more with acting than singing, but she is in soundtracks and different things like that, and she's done some voice work. Um, oh, most recently, uh, uh, what is it? She was the voice for... It's in her filmography, not in her music stuff. She did Martha Kent in the Justice League in 2003. And I don't know what else she did, but she did some voice work, too, for some animated things. And for Superman Brainiac Attack, she was Martha Kent again. Yeah, and I don't know what else. But anyway, she is still alive. Um, she was born in 1944. Let me find out and make sure that I'm saying that right, because I could be completely wrong. Yes, she was born January 19th of 1944. She has been married twice. So she got married at the age of 20. They separated two, late, two years later, but they didn't divorce until 1980. So they were married, but apart, I don't really know. She was married to um, Lou Adler, who I think is a director. I think. I think, I think. Um, producer. Sorry, he was a producer. I had to look that up. So they separated, they married in 64, separated in 66, but didn't get divorced until 80. That's a long time to be married, but not living together and not together. So I don't know why. And then she ended up in 1984, married Mike Farrell. Now you guys, if you're old enough and have seen MASH reruns, he was BJ Honeycutt on the TV show MASH. And that is who she has been married to since 1984. They are still married. And then... I don't know how active she is with doing things now. She did have to have a liver transplant in 2000. She had um, an auto autoimmune hepatitis, and so that's why she had to have the liver transplant. And that was obviously successful. Successful. She's still alive. She's still going, and that was 23 years ago. So that's a pretty long time to have a transplanted organ because there's a lot of anti-rejection meds that you have to take with that, and the chances of an organ failing are fairly strong 
So that is everything that I know about Shelly Fabre. If my mother ever catches up on her YouTube watching, I'm sure she can tell you all kinds of more fun stuff down in the comments. And if she gets around to it, I will pin that for you eventually. But like I said, in the description box, I will try and find you the best version of Johnny Angel that I can out there for your viewing and listening pleasure. Thank you so much for jumping back to the 50s with me. I do truly appreciate you all being here. And until next time, everybody, see ya. Bye.